you. Sorry about that. Now remember, you can double that number because they monitor the gill netting and the salmon cut off they take half. So, whoa, 1.27 million in 2015. Blanche is full of shit. Fukushima happened in 2011. Still had started to collapse immediately. Tide pool started to collapse immediately. It wasn't until 2016 the gray whale started to collapse. So, that can't be. The fructonium fires are spread over the bubble. Got into the pine trees. Just another coincidence. Kevin Blanche, the Great Salt Lake's going to go dry. The heat's going to rise. Storms move up off the ocean. Going to cause a heat bubble over the western United States. Everything I said came true, but kettle me, I'll kettle you. So, 2.7 million. Which next time I go to sea for five years. Now, remember that. Still, I go to sea for one. They started to collapse immediately. And I said this a million times on the internet. <laughs> Flanch is full of shit. Look, we have record returns. Record returns. People going crazy. And I said, wait till 2016. So I set my number here at 680,000. Their projection here was 1.3 million after the netting. 2.7 they had at that. They were right on. They were right on here. They were right on here, here, here. Well, how come all of a sudden they missed it? They had that number set at 2.7 million. I said, after the gill netting, they set that number 1.7 million. We'll use after the gill net because that's what this number is. I set mine at 680,000. It comes in at 697,000. I set my number here at 480,000. They said there's at 2.1 million. Well, came at once as luck, twice as skill. Blanches on it twice in a year. Well, what, 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 what? I set my number here at 333,000. They set theirs at 2.1 to 2.3 million. ODFW, WFW, NOAA. Doing videos all over Grandson. Whoop. Once is luck, twice is skill, three times is recorded here. Dead on, dead on. So here I set my number originally at 280,000. I dropped my number to 220,000. That's when they pulled the gill nets. They pulled the gill nets here. So I had to change my number. Changed my number back to 420,000. They, they started coming out of denial and changed their number to 1.9 million. Coming at 380, even below my projections. So here, they completely stopped all gill netting. I had my number at 280,000 again. So I had to double my number. I went to 540,000. They were at freaking 1.9 million. I mean, I guess the proof and the work doesn't matter. Hundreds and thousands of videos. I mean, actual boots on the ground proof, it don't mean shit. <laughs> unbelievable what's the total this year this is without gill lady 466,000 again still had 63,000 from 826,000 in 10 years that's in five years five years huh. five years from 2.7 million to 400 that's by number, not by weight. You get my drift? <laughs> no. Now, I want to ask all you Fukushima deniers, which is academia, which is what you have to, the whole world in Fukushima denial. Basic fundamental physics, science, is fundamental. For every action, there's a reaction. Einstein. For every action, there's a reaction. So... Oh, it's just a hydrogen blast. Arnie Gundershield told me. Helen Keldekamp told me I couldn't use the F word. Chris Buzzy says it's a big place to dilute. Those aren't activists. Those aren't anti-nukers. You know, Gunderson's wife is the ex-spokeswoman for the Nuclear Energy Consortium. You know, it's controlled opposition. So, Kevin Blanche, they're meltdowns. So when it wasn't meltdowns, everybody says, oh, you're lying. They're hydrogen blasts. They're not meltdowns. Gunderson told me, I have the emails. Bisbee attacked me. Why is in the bone marrow transplant? It's going to give you leukemia. It's going to give... Oh, I got leukemia. By the way, I just left our little five-year-old kindergartner who's at primary children's fighting for her life. Just there in her house. Boy, she's still bald-headed. Getting a little bit of hair starting to grow back. She's alive. She's in primaries, and we have a major outbreak going here, and I can verify that. I'll testify to that post this. I was in the bone marrow transplant at LDS. See, the plume... Still happening, ongoing. They didn't do anything about it. Barry Antoinette let them eat yellow cake. He's here on St. Patty's Day, 2011. He gives a 
press conference in the Rose Garden. I want you to know the plume is coming over us right now. Scientists say it is not dangerous. I want you to know what we know. I'll keep you abreast. Greatest lie in human history. Ever He's flown to South America with Jeffrey Amell, with all the nuclear energy executives on this side. Flown. Keep going. Keep going. Delmar Syndrome, as I named it. If you go to Fukushima, Japan, all the way on the opposite side of the Earth, as far away as you can get from it, yep, that's where he went. That's where they all went. Delmar, Argentina. I named it Delmar Syndrome, Argentina, in the early days. So, hypothesis in science. Don't be afraid to be wrong. And you've got to go rogue. you got to get away from academia because they're a fraud. You think you're going to get funded? You think somebody's going to give you a fellowship to take this on? What's her name, Sarah, that worked here was for years was always, we have a mice lab right here at the university, was always applying. Nuclear followed this far, couldn't get a grant, couldn't get couldn't get a fellowship for a PhD. She applied for vaping and got it. By the way, we know that mice studies are totally 100% worth. The sugar industry has proved that. Mice aren't humans. And but it's such a joke. So you have to go rogue and do what I've done, pioneer it. And I have. And flipping the soup can, the, the language I use, whatever, it was all about holding retention before they kettled the internet. And boy, did I have them beat. Used to Google Fukushima catastrophe. You'd get nine of the ten on the sign bar with me, Kevin Blanche. Competing with BBC, ABC, CNN, I was beating them. Salmon collapse, you'd get Kevin Blanche. And all that major subject matter that mattered. And I've done this in abject poverty and wall full of ammo leukemia. And think about, you know, everybody attacking me, the wolves. Mike Lee cuts me out Medicaid while I'm fighting. It'll be ten years. I get two weeks to go from yesterday. Like the night, I'll be there. That's like the night. We've got two weeks till tomorrow, and it'll be 10 years. I'm in a 10-year treatment program, given no chance. I have ML De Nouveau with a marker of 44, Devoto. What's that? It's like right here at the university. They had this guy. He says, I'm writing the thing for Devoto. He's from Germany. I says, oh, yeah. I'm standing right here at the library with him. Oh, yeah. You're the Devoto. Yeah, it's pretty bad for Germany. I says, what do you mean? I talk about Devoto every day. We used to have the debates. I says, oh, oh you're a Devoto expert. I told him, huh? Huh? Okay. Started showing him my videos. He's been watching my videos. I says, what's your favorite Devoto book? Uh, well, uh, the one of the one three. Which one of the one three? What are you talking about? I says, I like Across the Wide Missouri. What about 44? You ever read that one? When he was Twain's publicist? And I should have on off all Devoto's books. Uh, uh, well, I got to tell you, I've never read any of them. You've never read one of his books. Okay, but he's going to tell us. Okay. So, you've got to go rogue, like Fama K. Brody did here. So, Kevin Blanche, the new Fama K. Brody. And nobody compares to her. I want a statue over here at the library. It's going to happen. <laughs> the work matters. First you hypothesize the knowledge, then you have to do the field work on location with the camera. Then you got to defend your work against this tsunami of ignorance. Then you place it into the library. So future graduate students, future anybody's, the public can find it. Greatest PhD in human history. Stand tuned.